guys, it's Celine. What's up and welcome back to my channel. So it has been a while since I filmed my favorites video and believe it or not, but those are my favorite videos to film and to watch. So I really miss those and I decided to film another one for April. Since I skipped March, I have been trying out a lot of new products during the past two months and I have discovered a lot of new amazing items. I also discovered a few misses which I'm going to share with you guys today. And yeah, I have a ton of favorites to go through. This video is going to be long, so do yourself a favor, do like me and make yourself some tea because it's going to be a long video. So if you like favorites videos as much as I do, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to know what I loved and didn't love for the month of April, then definitely keep on watching. Stay one more night. Don't you know that my love is true? I just woke up from a nap, so I probably look very wretched, but let's just ignore that. I woke up very early this morning to do some bridal makeup. Everyone was so happy with how their makeup turned out, which made me very happy. But yeah, I have been up since very early this morning, and it is now almost 4 in the afternoon. I took a nap, but I'm starting to wake up again. I'm getting there. Alright, so my first favorite is super random, but since I have it in my hands, my first favorite is this mug right here. I went to Disneyland this week, um, I also got this sweater at Disneyland, but I saw this mug, this is the Little Mermaid Ariel mug, and it has a freaking pineapple on it. So if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with pineapples, so I couldn't pass this up, so I bought it. And it also says Disneyland Paris right here with another pineapple. I couldn't pass up on this mug. I just absolutely couldn't. She's my favorite Disney princess and I love pineapple, so I had to pick it up. Also, if you're wondering what tea I'm drinking, which is super random, it is this one right here, which is also a favorite of mine. This is the Lipton Vibrant Raspberry and Pomegranate. I think that's how you say it in English. Um, green tea tea. But yeah, this is what they look like. Oh. This tea, it smells like freaking candy. It is so good, it tastes delicious. Um, so yeah, this is a tea that I have been drinking a lot during April. It is really good. All right, then moving on to skincare. I have a few items that I discovered and absolutely loved. Um, so let's dig right in. The first product right here is the Balea Dry Shampoo in Sweet Melon. If you guys remember, I uploaded a DM haul not too long ago, I think about a month ago. And I have been trying out all of those products ever since that video went live. And this is one of the products that blew me away. This is less than one euro. It smells amazing it smells like melon but this is one of the best dry shampoos that i have tried in a long time it doesn't leave that white residue it gets rid of my oils i can even get away with not washing my hair a third day which normally i have to wash it after the second day so yeah this is really good and if you like dry shampoo and you can get your hands on this definitely get it because this is absolutely amazing one of the best dry shampoos and it is so freaking cheap. I guess that wasn't like skincare, that was hair care. Oh well, I am just all over the place right now. So next I have a rose water spray. This is by the brand Al Verde. Again, I picked it up in that DM haul and I've been trying it out ever since that video again and I really, really, really love this. The way I use this is actually as a toner so I will spray it all over my face once I'm done cleansing and then also apply some on a cotton round and go over my skin once more and this gets rid of any dirt that is left on your face it makes my skin feel very hydrated and clean I don't know I really like it and it is natural so it is really good for your skin so yeah I have been really loving this rose water spray and I have also been using it throughout the day um, after a couple of hours of wearing my makeup to refreshen it a little bit this is great for that as well and then another item from that haul is the Alverde um, like facial oil with olive oil in it first of all this smells like my favorite Kiehl's um, night repair oil which I'm not using anymore because it's not cruelty free but this is very comparable to that it has the same scent it feels the exact same way it is very nourishing you don't need a lot because otherwise your skin will look very greasy and oily but I love using this at night it makes my skin feel super hydrated so yeah, if you have dry skin definitely check it out even if you have oily skin you can also use it at night um, just use a very small amount but this is so good to hydrate your skin all right then lastly for skincare I have a mask and this is the first aid beauty skin rescue purifying mask with red clay whoa <laughs> that was a mouthful which minimizes the appearance of pores removes excess sebum and mattifies 
I don't know what sebum is, but it gets rid of it. So first of all, I really love how sleek this packaging is. I don't know, First Day Beauty, I think it's a great brand um, packaging wise and their products usually are really good. So this is what the actual mask looks like. And this is a mask that you apply on your face and then you let it dry. And once it is dry, you can just peel it off, which it feels so good to peel it off your skin. It smells very like menthol-y, but it feels so good when you apply it on your skin. It feels very cold and very like refreshing. And then once it's dry, you just peel it off and you definitely feel how it gets rid of any dirt. And I don't know, it does a really good job at cleansing your face. And it is also safe for sensitive skin. So, so yeah, this is definitely the mask that I have been using most throughout this month. All right, then we can finally move on to makeup, which is the most exciting part of this video. We have the Essence Prime and Studio HD Hydra Primer spray with coconut water with coconut water so this is new by essence and I tried it out in a video for the first time but this is such a good primer if you're in a hurry whenever I have to go to work in the morning and I don't have a lot of time to get ready I just spray this on and then let it dry for a couple of minutes and then in the meantime I do my hair I apply my lip balm and then by that time it already sunk into my skin and it is a really good hydrating primer is it the best hydrating primer I've ever tried no I think a cream hydrating primer is still better but if you're in a hurry it is a great option and it does hydrate your skin very nicely I know I always forget to talk about my brushes in my favorites videos, but I have two brushes that I have been really enjoying. They are actually kind of dupes for one another and I thought I would share it with you guys. So this is the Zoeva 90 Luxe Grand Powder Brush, which looks like this. And this is hands down the best, best, best brush to apply your bronzer with. It really gets in there, you can easily blend it out. The quality of this brush is so good, it blends out your bronzer so effortlessly. I really love this brush. But then Essence also released new brushes and this is the flat powder brush which in my opinion has a very similar shape except for the fact that it is smaller but it has a very similar shape this has synthetic brushes though and what I love about this one is that it is really good for applying your contour because it is definitely more precise than this brush so it definitely gets in there even more so this is perfect to apply your contour with and then this is perfect for bronzer so I have been using these two brushes a lot I love these and I would highly recommend both of them this one is a lot cheaper this one is a little bit more on the expensive side but they are both so 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 good like so good all right then I have three like face palettes so first we have the Colourpop Mermaid Glow Face Duo. I fell in love with this the moment I applied it on my face, even the moment I opened it up, I fell in love with it immediately. So this is part of the Eva Kitowski and Colourpop collection. I have a whole video on that which will be linked down below. But this is so pretty, it is perfect to travel with and the quality is just so good. I don't know how Colourpop does it but the quality is so freaking good. So this is the blush right here, which is right up my alley. It's not too pigmented, but it definitely is still noticeable. And then this is the highlight right here, which is a beautiful golden tone highlight. I love how these two apply on my face. They're beautiful shades. And again, this is just perfect to travel with. I took this with me to Disneyland and I see myself traveling with this all the time. I also have been using it a lot for like everyday looks because it is so neutral and beautiful. I just, I'm so obsessed with this. All right, then I have two highlighter palettes. Of course, how could I not? The first one is the Essence Glow To Go Highlighter Palette, which looks like this. This is in the shade Sun Kissed Glow and this is so affordable this is less than five euros and it is so good I've never tried a highlighter by Essence that I love as much as I do this one I mainly use these two shades right here but oh my god wait until you see these so this is the first shade and then this is the second shade right here but as you can see these two are just so glowy they have a beautiful like sheen to them the shades are perfect for people with fair skin tones even medium skin tones and what's great about this palette is that you also get two darker options for people with darker skin tones so yeah I mean look at that it speaks for itself and then I have another highlighter palette of course you probably saw this coming when I hauled it but this is the Colourpop in Nudendo um, highlighter palette First of all, the packaging is stunning because you know I love pink and rose gold and gold. I'm all for it. But this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Again, what I love is that they actually put the shades underneath each pan. I love that. 
I'm always complaining about that, so yeah. But these, again, are so buttery and so soft and smooth. They are not glittery whatsoever. And they remind me a lot of my favorite Colourpop highlighter here, Kitty Kitty. The formula is almost identical and these are just, they're so freaking good. If you love highlighter as much as I do, there's just no way that you cannot pick this up. I mean, hello? This is just blinding. Look at that. I can't get over how beautiful these highlighters are and I love that you get a lighter shade um, just in case these ones are too dark you can mix them and it works perfectly fine so if you're into intense highlighters as much as I do definitely check these out again they're not extremely expensive I think this palette is $18 which in my opinion is still very affordable and if you order just this you won't have to pay any customs because you're underneath $25 or underneath 23 euros I think so if you love highlighter and you can get your hands on this definitely do so because it's stunning it's blinding and I love it my next favorite is also by the Eva Katowski collection and this is one of her eyeshadows in the shade vacation mode so these are the four shades right here again if you want to see a tutorial on this um, check out that video that will be linked down below this palette comes with two matte eyeshadows and then two shimmery ones and what I love about this palette is that it is quite versatile like today I used um, a little bit of this shade Mahalo and then also a little bit of um, round trip this one right here and it creates a perfect like very effortless easy quick um, look that you can apply on an everyday basis but as you guys saw in that video you can also um, create more like intense looks more smoky looks thanks to this beautiful like darker shade and this purple shade so I think this is a very versatile palette again they're super 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 buttery and pigmented as you guys are used to with Colourpop, I mean, I'm not going to say it again. I just really love Colourpop eyeshadows, like I said a million times already. These shades are stunning, it blends like a dream, and it is a great everyday palette, it is a great going out palette. It is just very versatile and perfect to travel with because it is so sturdy and it has a mirror and the packaging is just so adorable. Then again, something I rarely mention in my favorite videos, but there's a pair of false eyelashes that I have been absolutely loving recently. And these are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. Now, if you guys have watched a lot of tutorials of mine, you would know that I am absolutely obsessed with the regular Iconics, which look like this. But the regular Iconics are very dramatic. They're very intense and sometimes even too intense, depending on what look you want to go for. So I decided to pick up the Iconic Lights. So I don't know if you guys will be able to tell the difference on camera but the iconic lights are definitely a lot lighter right at the lash band and um, they do have the same exact like size and shape to them but they are just a little bit um, lighter as the name suggests so yeah I have been really loving these for like more natural looks I only use false eyelashes for more dramatic looks but if it is a dramatic look that is more on the natural side natural then I will go for the iconic lights all right then moving on to lips of course this couldn't be in the lean favorites video if I didn't mention any lipsticks so of course I had to mention a few so the first one is what I'm wearing on my lips today and this is the ultra blonde lip from the Ava Katowski collection with Colourpop in the shade love bite this is such a stunning shade I have been wearing this so much ever since I tried out this makeup in that video so this is the shade Love Bite right here. And if you are unfamiliar with the Ultra Blotted Lips formula, it's really hard to explain. It is very sheer but buildable, so you can build it up to look very intense. This is one layer right here, but it has a beautiful like chalky matte finish. It's so hard to describe, I don't know how to describe it, but it has a beautiful like soft matte blotted effect. I definitely get why they call it blotted lips, um, because it has a beautiful like blotted effect. It doesn't transfer, it's not sticky, it completely dries down, it is very comfortable on the lips and it stays on for such a long time. So I am a huge fan of this formula and this shade in particular in Love Bite is so stunning. It goes with a lot of different makeup looks and this has been my go-to lip color on an everyday basis lately. It is stunning. And then I have two more uh, Colourpop lip products. These are their Luxe lipsticks. So I have the shade Boy and Appy. Again, I hauled these in that Colourpop haul. But the formula of these are so freaking buttery and smooth. Um, I love the packaging. I mean, come on, look at this packaging. So this is Appy right here, which is a beautiful like darker nude shade. I love that these lipsticks are embossed with stars. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they are so freaking beautiful. And then this is the shade Boy right here which is a very light nude shade. I personally think Boy looks the prettiest out of the two, 
but boy is really hard to wear on its own because it is so light so what I usually do is apply Appy first and then go over it with boy which creates the most beautiful nude lipstick ever I love the formula of these they are not the most long-lasting ever they are still a lipstick and um, but they have a beautiful like creamy finish and they last for a couple of hours but if you eat something they will definitely rub off they're not transfer proof like liquid lipsticks so if you drink something there will definitely be a stain and stuff like that but these are just so beautiful and the formula is absolutely fantastic so if you love bullet lipsticks and regular lipsticks more than liquid lipsticks then definitely check these out all right and that was actually it for makeup I have a couple of more favorites and then a few misses and then we are done so my next favorite is actually a perfume and this is the Marc Jacobs Daisy oh so fresh twinkle perfume so it was Kathleen lights that got me hooked on this she said that it smelled absolutely beautiful and the packaging is just so stunning it is definitely the packaging that sold me on this but then I went in store and actually smelled it and I fell in love even more it definitely has that daisy undertone it has like a violetness to it I love this perfume so much I actually got it for my birthday I asked my friends for a gift card to get this perfume and I got it and it smells so good and the packaging is just to die for it look at this packaging it is so beautiful it looks great with all my other perfume I love this it smells heavenly and even though it is a oh so fresh it stays on my skin for a pretty long time which actually was very surprising but yeah I love this all right then I have two more like fashion related um, favorites so first is this Pandora bracelet right here so this is one of their newest like tennis bracelets which you can just open up like this and then to close it you just close it like this and then you have these hanging from your wrists and you can just put the regular um, charms on here which is what I love even more there's something about this bracelet that I absolutely love it looks more casual even though it has little gemstones in here it just looks very casual and effortless which is definitely the style that I like and with the charms on it it just looks so beautiful they also have it in rose gold which I really want to get but yeah I've just for some reason been really enjoying this bracelet and then my next favorite is a pair of sunglasses these are the key Australia and Desi Perkins um, high key sunglasses. So these are the black and silver version, which looks like this. Now I have a rather large head, in my opinion, and I think that small sunglasses just don't suit me. I need really big sunglasses. So when I tried these in Canada, I fell in love, but it was already too late to wear sunglasses. It was already too cold. So I waited and I ordered them this month. They just look so chic and I love the style of these. I love how edgy they look and yeah, they suit my face shape really well in my opinion. So yeah, I got these sunglasses and I really love these. I dig them a lot. The only thing I hate about wearing sunglasses is that my makeup rubs off around here. I have tried a lot of different techniques. I've even tried baking that area, but nothing works. If you guys know a really good trick on how to avoid that, definitely let me know in the comments down below because you would be a lifesaver. Alright, then moving on to my two misses. So first I have the Alverde Beauty and Fruity Micellar Cleansing Water with Apple, Bio Apple actually. So again, I hauled this in that DM haul, but this stings my eyes so much it burns. It literally burns my eyes. So in my opinion, this is not a good micellar water. Um, I will have her use it up, but only on my face. I will stay far away from my eyes. But I just think a micellar water shouldn't be fragranced. It shouldn't sting your eyes. It should be neutral and do what it is supposed to do. So that is why I don't like it, um, but I will continue to use it up. Um, just not on my eyes. And yeah, I'm just not really a big fan of this, so I wouldn't recommend it. So yeah. And my last miss for this month is the Essence Would You Love Me Nail Polish in the shade Soulmate. This came out in a collection a while ago. But I recently tried it out and this formula is horrible. Now, I don't know why I'm mentioning it still because I don't think you can still get your hands on this. But I just thought I would mention it anyways. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. I love this. It is so unique and perfect for the like spring and summertime. But this formula is horrible. It chips instantly. It doesn't stay on your nails for a long time which is such a bummer because it is so beautiful but also to apply it it is tricky it's not easy to apply so i wouldn't recommend it but it is such a beautiful shade i love 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 this shade okay so those are all of my hits and misses for the month of april i know these were a lot of products we went through i don't think i've ever had this many hits and misses but 
this month I did because I skipped last month and I tried out so 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 many new items let me know in the comments down below what you have been loving for the month of April or what you didn't really like for the month of April because I would love to know and discover new and amazing items or know what I have to stay far away from so that wraps up today's video again if you want to get notifications for my new uploads definitely don't forget to hit that notification bell because if you don't even though you're subscribed there is a big chance that you're not seeing my new videos thanks YouTube so yeah definitely hit that notification bell and yeah I don't think I have anything else to say I think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching this video please subscribe if you haven't already I love you and I will see you all in my next video bye guys I'm so random people are watching but next I have a rose water oil and this is by it's not an oil say that it feels right